families had to quarantine and they've got a new baby and they can't do the service right away, but these kids need something and a lot of children aren't taken to memorial services. So. It was an emotional evening for a Knoxville family mourning the loss of their young daughter. Seven-year-old Adeline Gravis died. Her family says she died from COVID-19 after the virus triggered a rare autoimmune response. The little girl's friends and family and teachers gathered to say prayers and to remember her with a balloon release. Reporter Mary Klingler has her story. I was Ellen's kindergarten teacher um, and we went to church together. Whether it was dressing up as her favorite princess, putting on concerts for her family, or singing her favorite hymns. She was just an amazing kiddo with a strong faith. Loved ones say the lively seven-year-old made a friend wherever she would go. Hundreds of kids, I mean from all walks of life. She has touched so many people and so many kids. She especially touched the heart of one of her teachers, Holly Pace. She wrote this note in kindergarten in her journal. She wrote um, that whatever you ask, um, you will receive. And she drew a picture of her baby sister. And she got that baby sister, Ella, just before she died. It had her heart and um, pointed to Jesus. In it. And she had a crown on, and it was just so powerful that she did that at five years old. Adeline would go out of her way each day to find Miss Pace at school. Hugs every day, passing on the playground. Pace felt a calling to do something special for Adeline. Anybody else is sad? I've got some, oh, speaking of sad, I've cried like really, really hard, and sometimes you'll hear people say torn up. A lot of people are never told that, and these little guys just needed it to be addressed, I think. She got the kids to count down from seven, and then release. I just felt that was just like a hug to Adeline. In Knoxville, I'm Mary Klingler. Mary did speak to Adeline's family tonight, and although they are not ready to talk on camera, they say the outpouring of community support and prayers has been a comfort during this difficult time.